You just did a set, you're running to the goddamn mirror. Look at me, look at me. Really, people? What the fuck is wrong with you? And you'll wonder why you're not making these gains in the gym. Them wandering aimlessly around the gym with their fucking thumb up their ass, wondering it is, what am I gonna go do next? Are you tired of being stuck in the same old training routine? Really, seriously, your training sucks. You've come to terms with it, and now you need to figure out a solution on how to unfuck this whole thing. I'm gonna give you the tips and the tricks to help you get out of that rut that you're in and take your training back to where it used to be and even better. So stay tuned and I'm gonna give you those tips and tricks coming up right after this. Now that we agree that your training sucks, you need to know that effective training is vital in order for you to reach your goals in the gym and your goals outside of the gym. I'm gonna to talk to you about different causes for the reason why your training is not what it used to be. One of those causes is you're doing the same thing every single time you go to the gym. You're not changing anything up. Whether it's the same body part on the same day of the week or the same exercises, the same weight, the same number of repetitions, you're doing the same thing day after day, week after week, month after month, you're not seeing the progress that you should be seeing. The way you change this up is, change up the way you approach doing the exercises. Don't come into the gym thinking you're all high and almighty and start lifting all this ridiculously heavy weight that you can't utilize proper form to do. Nobody in this gym gives a shit about how much weight you're moving except your friggin' ego that you came into the door with. Lighten up the weight, learn the proper form, muscle engagement, and do the exercises like they're supposed to be done. And that right there is one of the big factors I see in the gym every single day, people using too much excessive weight. You know what, hey, you might think it looks cool, look at me, look at me, and let me tell you buddy, nobody gives a shit, they really don't. Coming up, another reason why you're not seeing the results you should. Another big factor as to why you're not making the gains you should be, and why your training sucks, is because again, I see this shit in the gym every day. People come into the gym with their cell phones, whether they're filming themselves, or they're scrolling through music selections, texting their friends, or they're looking, honestly, looking for videos on YouTube for different exercises for them to try while they're in the gym. So by the time they do one set of whatever, and they pick up that phone, and they're scrolling through to find something, and then they find something, and then they gotta watch it, and then they gotta think about it for a minute, you're resting way too much between sets. You're looking at sometimes more than five, six, or seven minutes. I fucking counted it, waiting while I was doing my sets, watching some of the clown shows that go on in these friggin' gyms with the goddamn cell phones. Back in the day, there was no such a thing as a cell phone when I was training back in the 80s. You came into the gym with the mindset that you're gonna kick ass and take names, and that's what you did. Now, everybody's so concerned of getting that perfect picture and, oh, my friend texted me, I gotta text them back right now, otherwise, fucking A, it ain't gonna be right. Or, uh, I don't like that song, I don't like what the gym's playing, I'm gonna play my own shit, but I gotta find out what it's gonna be. All those factors take away from what you're doing in the gym. Your goal in the gym is to get a skin splitting pump. You're not gonna get that resting five, six, seven minutes between sets. You gotta go into the gym do your set, rest up about a minute maximum, go do another set, reps to failure. Then go back to that one minute rest or so. I try to take less or it's just enough time for my training partner to do his set and then I'm right back in it. That's one of the biggest mistakes on top of the biggest mistake I just told you about. Everyone's so concerned about taking time between sets and scrolling through their phones. Another one is, they don't keep time under tension. They'll go to, the, they'll go to an exercise, and they'll, they'll do a repetition, and then they'll come down, and then they'll do another repetition, 
And then they come down. Pal, you're not doing shit. Even if it's right, it's wrong. In order for you to effectively target your muscle groups, you got to keep that muscle in time under tension. It's continuous controlled repetitions. Not monkey fucking shit and slinging stuff back and forth. Controlled repetitions. Not this three seconds down, two seconds up. Wait a second. Three seconds down, two seconds up. Who the fuck came up with that theory is beyond me. It's bullshit. Muscle responds to time under tension and that's the way it has always been. Whoever put the spin on that other bullshit doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. You can't recreate the wheel. You see, this shit agitates me because I see it all the time. But, oh, they're quick to run up to the fucking mirror and start hitting poses and shit. What are you looking at? You look like a fucking a guy posing for animal crackers. You just did a set, you run into the goddamn mirror. Look at me, look at me. Really, people? What the fuck is wrong with you? And you wonder why you're not making these gains in the gym. The main objective when you come into this gym is to get a very good workout. A workout that you know you're gonna feel the next day. That's the main objective. You gotta put your plan of action together before you get into the gym. If, let's say Monday is chest day, you should already know in your head the exercises that you're gonna do. And I'm telling you right now, more is not better. I target three crucial exercises, maybe four sometimes. Three exercises, whether it's high reps or high rep drop sets, and the weight is never heavy. It's a moderate weight that I can control and that you should be able to control. Because if you're just gonna grab some weight and everyone never looks at, you know, when they're gonna go figure out what they're gonna do, oh, if I go grab those 15 pounders, people are gonna look at me like I'm a fucking pussy. That's what they're gonna think. Well, that's what you're gonna think in your mind. Nobody gives a shit. What impresses people more is seeing somebody who knows what they're doing because 90% of the other ass clowns in the gym don't and they're looking for guidance. So be that person people look up to for guidance on doing proper execution of the exercises. Don't think that people are watching you in the gym to see what you can manhandle. Nobody gives a shit. You gotta have a strategy when you come in here. Every workout's a new workout and every workout has to have its strategy. If you're having issues with trying to figure out what it is you want to do when you go to the gym, I attached a free PDF link in this description. Put your email address and I'll send you this guide and it's free. This guide will point you in the right direction on how to start your fitness journey, okay? It's not a difficult thing. There's so much information and so much misinformation out there on social media, you don't know what to believe or what not to believe. Well, I'm telling you right now, I've been doing this before social media existed back in the 1980s. And this is how we trained. There were no cell phones. You listened to the music that the gym played. And if it was something you didn't like, you just tuned it out. You did nonstop, no rest between sets or very little, if any. You came into the gym and you had a hell of a workout and you got out. I train at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm done by 4.35, 4.40 with one body part, sometimes it's a two body part day. My training partner and I go non-stop. Now, the point I'm trying to make is people will come into the gym before us sometimes. We're done and they're still training. That does it make any sense. Now, if you look like a Mr. Olympia competitor, I might understand why you're training a little bit longer. But half these people that are in here look like a bowl of melted fucking ice cream. They're wandering aimlessly around the gym with their fucking thumb up their ass, wondering it is, what am I gonna go do next? Oh, I'm gonna go do this. And then after 15 fucking minutes, 15 minutes, that's why you look like the way you do. You gotta get your shit straight. You gotta come in and effectively target the muscle group that you're training. And another big factor that 
your training really isn't what it should be or why your training sucks is the lack of sleep and your proper nutrition. When you're done training at the gym, you can't run over to McDonald's and order the left side of the menu twice and think, oh, I just trained my ass off for three hours, even though you didn't do shit while you were in there, but you were there for three hours. McDonald's ain't gonna hurt me. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're not gonna out-train a bad diet. And if you're functioning on three or four hours of sleep, and you think that you're gonna be able to go and do a complete day at work, and then come into the gym at night, or reverse it, come into the gym in the morning, and then go to do your whole day of work, your training is going to suffer severely because your body is not going to get the adequate rest and the proper nutrition that it needs. You can't out train a bad diet and you must get a good six to eight hours sleep. I'm retired. I've been retired for 13 years. I'm in bed by eight o'clock, no later than nine o'clock. I sleep till 2.30 in the morning. I'm at the gym by 3.30 and we're training at 4 a.m. I could be sleeping my happy ass until eight o'clock every morning. That's not the case because this is a priority for me. And you should make it a priority for you too. So if you can't make those dedicated decisions to dedicate yourself to a lifestyle like this, then don't bitch and moan that you go to the gym five or six days a week and you're working out three hours a day and you're not seeing any results. All your factors of a bad lifestyle contribute to what happens when you're in this gym. This is a dedicated lifestyle that you have to live in the gym and outside of the gym if you wanna see the right results that you're looking for. It's crucial when you're in the gym training to change things up. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> don't do the same workout every single time you come in here. Let's say for example, you're Bicep workout is barbell curls, preacher curls, dumbbell curls, you're done. They're great exercises, but when you do the same thing over and over again, the body gets used to that. So if you want to keep the same exercises, that's fine, but change up the order. Maybe one workout start out with dumbbells, and then go to preachers, and then go to barbells, or dumbbells, barbell, preacher, or preacher, dumbbell, barbell. Change it up you're gonna find you're probably gonna get a better workout. And also, stay away from this low repetition stuff and going heavier in the weight. The key to muscle engagement and muscle growth is high repetition, high volume training, okay? You have to come into the gym and get that skin splitting pump. Six to eight, eight to 10 isn't gonna cut the mustard, not at all. You gotta take your repetition range into the 15, 20, 30 repetitions. And you're gonna be saying 30 repetitions, my muscles aren't gonna get big, they're gonna get, they're gonna shrink. The fuck they are, I'm 59 years old and my arms are over 20 inches. So if you're gonna hear and argue with me and say that those high reps make your muscles smaller, they don't make them bigger, look in the mirror and look at yourself and then look at me. I know you don't have 20 inch arms, mine may even be a little bit bigger. Okay, high repetitions, low rest between sets equals high blood volume. So, now that I laid it all out to you, if you have any comments, and I'm sure you do because I went on a friggin' roll this time, leave a comment below. I want to hear your feedback. And the link in the description for the PDF download that is free for you to get started on your fitness journey is in the description. Click on it, you got nothing to lose. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Peace out.